Hi everyone, so in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you my luxury handbag collection. And in our last vlog video, a lot of you guys were asking once again if I could share that with you. So I figured since I had a few more pieces now, maybe now was the time to share with you guys. So I do have to start out, I feel like these videos always have a disclaimer in the beginning. Um, my disclaimer is actually that my collection is not in any way big. Um, I feel like I've seen some of these videos on YouTube and it's like a like wall-to-wall -wall closet of beautiful handbags. So I definitely don't have that for you today. Um, I believe I have four, five, five pieces that I'm gonna show you. And then additionally, like some small leather goods, like little wallets and wallet inserts and stuff like that. I do have to say handbags are my absolute favorite accessory. For most girls' is shoes, mine is definitely handbags. It has been since I was a little girl. Um, I remember my like first fashion-y thing that I got and I think I was maybe six or seven and I like begged my parents for a purse and my parents were like, you don't need a purse. So the obsession definitely started early. So I'm just obsessed with purses and bags, period. They don't have to be designer. But I figured you probably didn't want to just see my like Zara and Forever 21 collection. So for this video, it will just be more like designer bags. And also to anyone more influenced or someone younger watching, um, I do have to say that your belongings don't make you who you are. Um, your belongings also do not make you happier. I do remember thinking when I couldn't afford certain things, thinking that like one day when I can afford one of those, I'm gonna be so happy. And yes, it's exciting when you get it, but does it make you happy and fill you up on the inside? It absolutely does not. And if you can't have them, of course they are fun to have and fun to, I guess, talk about. And I know that when I'm interested in a bag, I will think about it for months and I will like obsess over it and watch reviews on it, watch videos on it. So I do think these videos are helpful. Um, I think they are a lot of fun. So if you two are just as obsessed with bags as I am, just keep on watching. So I have to start off with my very first designer bag purchase. This is the Never Full and I got it in the Dumye pattern. At the time, I was trying to decide between the Louis Vuitton like monogram pattern. I do believe the monogram pattern is just so classic, um, but I wanted something a little bit just more understated. And I definitely think this is my least exciting bag, but it's definitely the one that I've gotten the most use out of. I've not been on a flight without it since I've gotten it. And my favorite thing about this bag is that it still looks brand new. I've never gotten it cleaned. I, I feel like with this bag, I feel like I take care of my things pretty well. I feel like this is the one bag that I'm just super incredibly rough with and it still looks pristine, I think. I have a weird thing about keeping the inside also super clean and smelling good. So at least once a month I go through it and throw away any like receipts and stuff like that. Um, and then take everything out and I spray kind of like a disinfectant, a cleaner. Um, one of my favorite tricks to do to bags too <laughs> is to actually spray hairspray or um, something that kind of like dries up quickly. It leaves the bag just like smelling really good and because it dries up really well, it's not gonna leave like a sticky residue in the bag. Like I said, definitely my most used bag um, and it is the largest one that never full, so it absolutely fits my entire life in here. Um, so it's just super, super convenient. The fact that it's, you know, opens really big too. You can just see everything in the bag. And next is this Gucci crossbody bag. When this bag came out, I was absolutely obsessed with it. I rarely ever like obsess over a bag when it's like brand new. It has to be almost like a classic bag before I'm really into it. So this was the first bag that you know, as soon as it was like out, I wanted it so, so bad. This is the small, I believe they have the mini and the bigger one. I thought the bigger one was too much of a bag bag. And I definitely wanted a crossbody bag, but I still wanted it to fit, you know, my cell phone and stuff like when I went out. I believe this is the only bag that I have with silver hardware. I am normally like a gold kind of girl but I feel like the silver with this like kind of neutral color is just perfection. So absolutely like one of my favorite bags and I feel like 
with everything, I tend to go like black or something, black and gold. But I do like that it has the classic Gucci pattern, but it isn't in your face Gucci, if you know what I mean. And I'm not even gonna try to pretend that I know how to pronounce the names of all these bags, but I believe this one is the Dionysus. I believe that's like a Greek god, like the god of wine or something like that. It's weird that I know that. I'm all for a god of wine as a bag. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely love this bag. I do think that this bag will last really well. I've had it for, I wanna say two, maybe almost three years now. I also like that it stands, so sometimes smaller bags don't stand. So if you're sitting at a bar or where, somewhere where you want to sit your bag on, um, it stands up straight, which I do like. So yeah, so pretty. All right, so my next one is this YSL college bag. I love that it has a top handle, also has a over the shoulder strap. I do love the leather on this bag. And what really drew me to it is the fact that it is a somewhat structured bag, but the side here, how it's like slouchy and it's slouchy on purpose. And it was like that obviously when it was brand new. And I love that. I love when it is somewhat structured, but kind of slouchy. I don't know, is there a word for that? <laughs> I think this is one of my most convenient easy bags for when I don't want a super large bag um, as the never full. It also has this pouch here, so this is great for like just like storing your phone um, or something that you wanna access quickly. And the inside is also really convenient. It's got like a zipper like filing pocket in the middle. Um, and this one really does fit a lot. Um, I have this weird thing that I have to carry a water bottle with me at all times, and so that is my test. For each bag that I own, it needs to be able to at least carry, even if it's a small water bottle, even the last Gucci bag that I showed you guys, it does hold a small water bottle. So this one I can definitely fit a normal size bottle. And I do think the brass hardware is kind of what makes this bag super cool. And I just feel like this is one of those bags where it can almost be casual. Like I could totally wear this with, you know, jeans and like a crisp white shirt. And it totally like elevates the look without it looking like your bag doesn't go at all with that outfit. So yes, absolutely love this one. I'm trying to think if I have a favorite. I do feel like that this is probably what I consider my prettiest bag, if that makes sense. Um, and a bag like this, I would hope to pass on one day to like my daughter or something. And hopefully it looks cool and vintage in like 20 or 30 years. <laughs> All right, so next is this Louis Vuitton duffel bag. This is the bandolier bag in the Damier graphite color, and this is in the size 55, which I believe is their largest duffel. And I actually bought this for Adam. Um, the colors are just so him. He loves anything that's like gray and black and just, I mean, that's his color scheme is gray and black, basically. Um, and he always does like silver kind of hardware um, and when I saw this I just it was so him that on one of the trips we were going on together I bought this for him like the day before we left and as much as he did love it he probably has only used it once and to be honest I actually have used it more than he does so that's why it has made this video but yeah pretty bad you guys just need to remind Adam to use it more often. Most of my bags I have thought like long and hard about. Um, I am not an impulse shopper, or at least not with like nicer things, except for the next bag that I'm about to show you. And that is this embossed leather padlock Gucci bag. Um, I thought this bag was so beautiful. Again, with the gold hardware, but what really sold me on the bag was getting it with this strap. So the story of this bag and the reason why I got it a little bit more as an impulse buy was because I got it at the Real Real. So if you guys don't know what that is, is a resale shop online um, where they authenticate every piece and then resell it for an amazing price. So I've, I've looked at that website a million times. I never actually bought anything from them until they opened an actual storefront in LA on Melrose. Um, and last year I was there by myself for like a work thing. And so I went in and checked it out and I was like, wow, this store is actually impressive. I thought it was gonna have like two or three cooler things, like still somewhat overpriced. And then, you know, the rest would be garbage. 
no, I was super impressed. Like they had a wall of like basically just Birkins and you know, like kept really well and you know, for obviously a discounted price because everything is used, but it's definitely a really, really fun store to shop. The way they've kind of curated everything and displayed everything. And that's where I found this beauty. Like I said, one of the things that majorly attracted me to this bag was the strap. And obviously the strap is sold separately, but this combination I thought was just absolute perfection. Um, again, this is one of those bags that stands when you lay it on something. And yeah, so this is that one bag that I hadn't been eyeing. I didn't know much about it, but I am so glad that I got it. The interior is in absolute perfect condition and I got it for several hundred dollars off. And again, like I said, if I, I mean, still today, looking at it up close, it looks absolutely brand new. So I am glad that Adam encouraged me to get it because again, like sometimes when I see something that I absolutely love, if it's not something that I've thought long and hard about, um, it's kind of tough for me to buy. So, and of course at a consignment store like The Real Real, um, obviously it's like one of a kind kind of pieces. So most likely it would be got next time. So very glad that I have made this purchase. Um, we've gone through all the actual bags. Now we're just moving into small leather goods. So I'm gonna be starting off with the Louis Vuitton wristlet because this actually came with my Neverfull bag. I believe that the Neverfulls in the beginning did not come with this and then I don't know which edition of it was that they started coming with this. This is actually one of my favorite parts about the bag and the reason for that is that I keep most of my everything that I need to transfer from bag to bag. So when I am switching bags, basically I switch this and this has all my important stuff. It's not my wallet, but I do love that it is a little wristlet. I feel like every time I travel, I do take this and it's just really convenient. All right, so next we are moving on into my actual wallet. And now I don't carry this everywhere. I bought the wallet when I bought the Neverfull bag. Um, and I believe this is one of their like slimmer wallets. Um, I did like the accent with the little red button, but I do love that when you open like nothing really flies out. I feel like it's compact, um, has room for everything that I need, but not excessively big. So my next one is this beautiful Jimmy Choo clutch, um, black with silver hardware. I like that it's really minimal. This was a gift from Adam for our first Christmas together. The leather is absolutely beautiful. I think this is probably my favorite leather. I like that it does open up and it actually fits quite a lot for such a like slim uh, clutch. It's really minimal, really clean, classic again. Um, I've even used it as a wallet um, where if I'm wearing a larger bag um, or while traveling, but definitely one of my most sleek kind of bags. And lastly is this little mini card holder. Is that what these are called? Um, and this was a gift from Redken, I believe a year or two ago. I believe all the ambassadors got one. And honestly, this is like one thing that I would probably never think to get myself. Um, Cause I just thought like, I have like a bigger wallet. That's like what I need to fit all my shit in. And you know, like what's the point of the smaller thing? And honestly, I use this every single day since I've had it. Um, I have my clipper card um, on the back, which is the card we use for the like our subway system here in the Bay Area. Um, and you basically don't have to get it out. You kind of just like tap this on the machine and it works. Um, I like that it's really tight. So I feel like even sometimes in this wallet, I ha have at times like not put my credit card back and just kind of like laid it in here and close the wallet. And then cards like fly out into your bag and then I'm like freaking out for like two minutes thinking that I lost a card. Um, so in this, I feel like you just, there's like nowhere else to put it, but in its place. So yeah, I absolutely love this. So recommended this to my friends, recommended it to my mom, but obviously it doesn't matter what the brand is, but I just feel like having one of these is absolutely essential. So, and that is it. This is every luxury leather good that I own. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions, please let me know down below um, and let me know which of these bags you guys own or which one is your favorite bag that you own. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.